Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trophinet and welcome back to The Witcher 3 on the Dead March difficulty. We're still playing the Hearts of Stone DLC and uh, I did that previous side quest, uh, Rose on a Red Field, to because uh, I know I knew that would end up that would let us end up back at Oxenford. And uh, we also know that Shawnee is staying in Oxenford, so we can continue the main uh, quest line by talking to Shawnee about the Von Everett quest, because as you remember, look at that. Shani's clinic, because as you remember, we uh, need to uh, make sure that Olgierd's brother has the time of his life. Sadly, he's dead, so uh, that's going to be a bit harder. So let's head upstairs. There's a lot of sick people here, apparently. I've tested and meet our sense. favorite redhead. I believe I'll be able to brew an antidote. Good. A pox and an army can prove more ravaging than even their fiercest foe. Your service will be recognized. How? Will I get a toad-shaped medal? Ooh, wow. Damn, he's not got any medal like that. Sarcasm. Sarcasm, sir. Geralt? Are you alright? What's that on your face? Um... Long story. We'll tell that sometime. <clears throat> We're conducting important business. You can catch up later. Uh, yes. Right. I'll get to work on the antidote. Shouldn't take long. Okay, are these guys gonna stay here? Tasty number that medic. Not like a scholar at all. Huh. Scholars aren't necessarily ugly. So, think learned women are ugly as a rule? Well, it's lucky they're brains, because they've not got beauty. Well, that yeah, one's right, that one's oh, an exception I to the rule, I think. Hideous things. Wouldn't touch one with a ten L pole. Well, this lass is different. Exceptional. You're a lucky bastard, with you? We've seen her making eyes at you. Not like she looks at us. Isn't that right? Admit it. You fancy it, too, eh? Of course. She's uh, a beautiful woman. It'd take a blind man to shrug and turn away. Too true. Meantime, you witches have got especially sharp senses. And especially sharp swords as well, if you want to provoke me. Strong solution, so careful with the dosage. Each patient gets exactly two drops after meals, three times a day. At the most, in three, four days, the infection should recede. I thank you, in Redania's glorious name. Serving the Redanian cause now? I serve individuals. I treat them. That they're Redanians is coincidental. I'd help Nilfgaardians as well were I in a position to. Kedwenis, Edernian, Elves, Dwarves, Halflings, the same. Come on, Geralt. You know That's me. true. Uh, where have you been these past years? Aside from the incident in the sewers, we last saw each other. Mm, it must have been in Vizima. Yes. Yes. When it was ravaged by the Catriona. The Catriona plague. Feels like a century ago. Where have you been? What have you been doing since? Well, I left Vizima and returned to Oxenfurt, proceeded to finish my doctorate, and then opened a practice. Shortly thereafter, war broke out, and I was press ganged into the Redanian Medical Corps. So what now? Radovid's dead. But the war's not over yet. The chaos continues. I'm still very much needed. Okay. Well, I can't complain. At least I live at home now, and I treat the ill, as is my calling. Though I must always be ready, for at any time the Redanians might knock with some painfully urgent assignment. Yes, they can, but I need your help. Shani, I need your help this time. Mm, I'd guess this wasn't a social call. All right. We'd like it to be a Tell social call. Mean. Can it be a social call? Is it call? at all related to that mark on your face? Ah, uh, and you must tell me what happened in the sewers. Oh, now you're interested. A <laughs> long story, waste of words. I killed a prince and was taken prisoner. That's the short of it. Where do I start? All right. Monster in the sewers turned out to be a giant toad. And this toad was actually a prince. And Ophiri wanted that. Hmm, and I'm a Kaviri duchess. It's the truth, uncolored, I swear. When I killed the toad, some Ophiri soldiers led by a mage showed up, captured me. 
man named Gontaro Dim freed me. Who's this? He is the guy that uh, put that mark on the his face. Uh, someone powerful, a merchant of mirrors. Master mirrors, but I don't think that's because he sells mirrors. Someone powerful. Hmm. Could be a mage. A yes, demon, yes, a jinn. Jin. I knew it. It's a fucking jinn. You don't know. Well, he grants wishes. Powerful. That's all I need to know. He helped me out of a bind, and now he expects me to fulfill some nobleman's wishes in return. First one's to summon the ghost of his brother, then show him the time of his life. Amuse a ghost? How do you intend to do that? With your help. Not my chief concern at the moment. Gotta find his grave and summon him first, then we'll see. But that's necromancy. It's extraordinarily risky and involves higher magic. Odim told me how to do it. No sorceress or necromancy involved. Gave me this. Concoction that summons ghosts. I'll need a sensor too. Well, that can be arranged. They keep one in a storehouse at the Academy. I can fetch it for you. Thanks. Don't mention it. But I still don't like this. Well, uh, you and me both. Don't whine, holy do shit. I, but I don't really have any options. Gotta summon that ghost. I understand. Whose ghost is it? Olgierd von Everek's brother. Von Everek? Oh, mm. her face in changed. In my third year at Oxenfurt, we had to choose an elective. My options were Pearls of Wisdom from the Hierarch. Let me guess. Or you went for the dynasties. Famous Rudanian dynasties. I chose the latter. Here it is. Okay, and what von can you tell me Hybrid. about the Von Everex? Estekin. Von Everex. Hmm. It says Algird had a brother named Vladimir. He lies in the family crypt near their manor. Thanks. Knew I could count on you. I'm off. Look at how happy she is. The crypt's described as quite a work of art. I'd love to see it. But why don't I bring the sensor? We can meet at the entrance. Okay. Great idea. More quality time with Shawnee is uh, much appreciated. So, well, uh, well, we're gonna head there probably. Towards the Von Everick family crypt. Oh, that wasn't great. Well, not graceful at the least. Uh, so, uh, I guess I'll see you guys at the Von Everick family crypt. I'll, I'm supposing that will be a lot less prettier a sight than what we see here. So, see you guys there in a minute. Oh. And we're already at the Von Everick estate, so... Is this Stone. where we need to be then? Look at that! That looks amazing! And huge! We need to go around towards the crypt, and there's a lot of access gates apparently. Or maybe we just need to find a way in. But I'm guessing the uh, the tombs will not be oh yeah, over there. That's probably the cemetery. Looks like rain. Or the crypt, as they would call it. Is Shani here? Yeah, there she is. Hello, Shani. Oh, look at that. She's picking flowers. Never seen this side of you. What side is that? How do I put this? Your romantic side? Used to seeing you surrounded by bandages and medicine vials, often covered in blood. Well, that's because you usually come round while I'm at work. Off duty now. Waiting for you, weaving a garland for the wedding. Oh, well, 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 wedding? Never mentioned you were getting married. It's coming out nicely. Nimble hands you got there. <laughs> I should hope so. I'm a surgeon. I think I prefer you using them this way. Less blood? More beauty. Ooh. There's a beauty to surgery, I assure you. I know. Just out here, in this landscape, it does more for me than in an operating room. <laughs> Remember to bring the sensor? Of course. Some soldiers nearly caught me slipping it into my satchel. Wasn't sure what you needed it for. So I also took a mix of amber, aniseed, and juniper. All rather smoky when lit. Okay. Thanks. Might come in handy. Sensor. So that's probably a usable item. Shall we? For in the crypts. Yes, we shall. Let's go. 
Hopefully she liked that compliment I gave her. The tone was spot on. This is impressive. Yeah, indeed. Yeah. Too bad it's falling apart. The family hit on hard times. And suddenly there's a moon. Splurge on such luxuries. Ooh, that looks just a little too creepy for me. Don't have to come if you don't want. Wait here. I like that idea. Okay. If there's any trouble, just yet. Okay, we will. Bye, Shani. Oh God. Horror game. Suddenly, maybe I'll. I should equip that sensor already. Probably in quest items. There we go, the sensor, and I'll put that in place of the Potesta Quisitor. The thing we use to find the magical disturbances. Okay. This is no crypt. It's a full blown mausoleum. And it's dark in here. Let's take a look around. Mushrooms. Ophiri Kilji. Kilji? Kilji? I don't know how to pronounce that. This is locked. Maybe I'll use a, a Quen sign, just in case. And look at that. Where are we now? Wraiths. Need this one to be easy. No, indeed. So I'm gonna litter this place with the uh, urn signs. I think I can have three active at the same time. Maybe I should go for Spectre Oil as well. Because I'm guessing this won't be the only uh, fight we'll have to do against ghosts. Yeah, indeed. Wow. That was uh, hefty. But they didn't do that much damage. So uh, let's take a look around. It appears I can blast this open. Seems to be a cave around here as well and a corpse. Let's take a quick look here. It's probably not where we need to be, but... Crypt key. Sounds great. Use your witcher senses. This thing in the middle, what does that do? Votive fire. Lit in honor of the dead. Old custom. Okay. Can I light that? Apparently not. Not the way I thought it would. There's a lot of crypts around here. Honoratina, loving wife of Kestatis, died in 1257. Okay, not the one we're looking for. We're looking for Vladimir. Are you Vladimir? Hmm. Old tombstone. Inscription's almost worn off completely. Probably not then. This one? Kest... Kestatis? Another Kestatis. I'm looking for. There's a lot of Kestatis in this, uh... You Tomb. Maria von Everek died in 1250. Okay. Still not who we're looking for. This has a nice sword in front of it. Hmm. Probably shouldn't touch that. Vladimir von there we Everek, go. son of Bohumil and Christina. There you are. Now for the ritual. 
Gotta spread the incense throughout the crypt, every room. Yeah, I uh, I got it. We still have it uh, equipped. There we go. Life and death, fire we... and blood. Incense Arise from the dust, ye whose blood I have brought. Boo. Return and walk midst the living, ye who have departed. Arise as a friend, for I am no foe. And now we need to spread it down here as well, apparently. Arise from the dust, ye whose blood I have brought. There we go. Life and death, fire and blood. Time to light the votive fire. Okay, let's put that away and let's light the main votive. Whatever that may be. Green fire, okay. Fire and blood, life and death, I summon ye whose blood I have brought. Why do you drink that? Ah, okay, never mind. He spit fire it out into the blood, fire. Life and death. You have summoned me, stranger. Why? Um, Name's Geralt. Came to wake the ghost of Vladimir von Everek. Who you are, and why you've come matter little. For you'll not leave this place alive. Are you Vlad's ghost? Who asks after my grandson? It matters not, Honoratina. What I wonder is how this mortal obtained the family's blood. For Von Everick's rise only for Von Everick blood. Oh, okay, this is starting to get really creepy. Yet to my knowledge, only one of our line yet lives. Olgird. Then we converse with the man who spilled the blood of your grandson, Kestetis. Mean none of you are Vladimir? It's Olgird, his brother, who sent me. You will meet Vlad soon enough. Yet Olgird, you will never see again. Oh shit! Can I use Axiom Ghosts? And the gates are closed with green fire, so I don't have any other way of dealing with this. I don't know if Erden even works on these guys. I think I should uh, use Spectre Oil again. Because they are specters, right? Because uh, this is a bit weird. Let's try Axie. Does it even work? I think I should just see them as humans, but. Can damage him a bit with Igni, but that's about it. How you like that silver? Okay. Okay. Gastals has appeared, you disappeared. Those two have disappeared as well. Come on, come closer. I'll tear you to shreds. So now it goes Alexi and our grandma. I'll soak the life out of you. There we go. Okay. They weren't dead when I killed, well, killed and defeated them. They had a bit of life left before they disappeared. My, my. Ordinary horse sons, those von Emmerichs, eh? Who are you? Well, Vladimir, probably. 
The rogue you seek. Vladimir von Everick, brother to Olgird. Hello, friend. Yeah, that. Oh, forgot I cannot even scratch my stones. <laughs> Though in point of fact, they've not itched much since I died. Well. Didn't want to fight your family. No solution for a problem that doesn't exist. Right? I'm dead, not blind. I preferred to see how you'd handle those snobby pricks. I'm grandmum too. Besides, what harm could you do them? They're dead as it is. Stop teleporting. And he's gone again. Now tell me how you came into Old Gear's blood. If you hurt him, I fear I shall have to kill you. Well, we're here on your uh, brother's request. of mine and Old Gear's. I'm here on business. I'm a swiving corpse with no interest in important matters, yours or any other buckers. The sole thing I miss is feasting, corporal diversion, so to speak. But alas. Hmm. Thought come here often? Get a lot of visitors? At times, not often. For when someone does drop by, the whole band comes out to play. Fun loving family. True! We're famed for our love of revelry and rumbles. We von Everick's have brawled and raided for generations. It's tradition. Naturally, with raids comes loot, so we always had the means to celebrate right lavishly. Towards the end of my life was when things went sour. But no point poking at old wounds. Just days before I died, my brother claimed he'd found a way to dig us out, restore our state. Okay, your brother is the one that sent me. Your brother sent me. How is the old rogue? He, what I wouldn't give to ride by his side again. No chance of that happening. Could experience something else though. Something a corpse should find interesting. Interesting? Out with it. What do you have in mind? We're gonna, well, indulge your uh, divergence. Tell me about Old Geard first. Listen, feels like I should know Old Geard better. Tell me something about him. Oh, a fantastic chap. A true cavalier. You won't find another like him in all Redania. The best there is for a drink or a brawl. We were pups when we started riding out on raids. Wet behind the ears. Borderland villagers shat their trousers at the very sound of the word Olgeard. I was his second in command, leading a band of rogues who'd ride through fire for us. Sounds, uh. Sound like common bandits. Yeah, indeed. Any difference? Us? Bandits? Watch your words. True, some of our swordsmen were mindless brawlers, but not. Olgeard. He's a bit more sophisticated, Always isn't he? Always curious, took an interest in all things. He devoured books, adored paintings, and loved the most beautiful maid in the world. And turned the man into a toad because of it. But uh, how did you die? Don't mean to pry, but just a little curious how you died. Ah! No need to be shy. Folk love such stories. I'd love this one too, were it not to end with my death. So how'd it happen? On raids, it was our custom to storm the alderman's hut, and then order the local clods to bring us kegs of spirit. And provide willing wenches to squeeze and churn about. Then, sadly, an ambush. Outmanned five to one, we were overwhelmed. They killed me, crushed my skull. Like an eggshell between an upturned oak table and the stone floor. Ooh, sounds gruesome. Jesus Christ. Um, so we're supposed to show you the time of your life. Hope Listen, you uh we'll give like it. Job. Odd as it may sound, I need to show you the time of your life. Is that so? Now that sir is a brother. I've been dead for years, yet he still looks after me, after my spirits. Yes, indeed. How much time do we have? Think one night should do the trick? Splendid! Wait just a moment while I hoist my saber and... 
And what? What the blistering devil! Yeah, you can't take that with you. You're a ghost. Can't grab things. Wait, uh, why? I keep forgetting. A ghost can't grab but things, but the other guys were carrying swords. Can't lift a tankard to my lips. Can't wield a saber. Can't squeeze a wench as we dance a jig. Guess you'll have to do without. Let's go. That's not gonna be enough, probably. I go nowhere. Yeah, there we go. God damn it. You're to see I enjoy myself, correct? Well, then think of a way to make it possible. How? Revive my flesh. No can do. Besides, body's probably decomposed. Then bloody come up with another way. Maybe he can uh, invade someone else's body? Yeah, there we go. Guess I could bring you someone to possess. Hmm. Guess I could bring someone here, and you... You could... Uh, borrow their body, just for the night. You wish me to possess someone? Uh, yeah. <laughs> He's even hmm. doubting that. Say I agree. Whose body would I inhabit? Dunno. One of Olgird's men, maybe? Or a peasant who'd agree to do it for coin? Oh, no, no, no. I shan't crawl into the skin of some unwashed bandit or dung-eating swineherd. I've a better idea. Oh god, here it oh, comes. No. Not gonna happen. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, no, 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 no. Fuck. Fuck. That's... Not good. That is definitely not good. Geralt, wake up. Open your eyes. Where are the smelling salts? Oh god, this is bad. Is he even in control anymore? Death was a small price to pay to lie on a lap so lovely. And so near the wonders concealed a bit. <laughs> Have you gone mad? Well, that's not Geralt. Yes, as soon as I laid eyes on you, promise to stay oh, and gold. my chin, and I shall spend the rest of eternity in a hound's body, trotting along by your well-turned cat. Oh, Gold. Geralt, what's happened to you? Geralt, I'm Vlog. There we go. What? Blast. Fine, fine, give me a moment. What the hell yeah, was that all about? Definitely don't like being possessed. <laughs> you'd not have fainted had you not resisted so fiercely. Geralt, care to explain what's going on here? Uh, he possessed... Sorry about that, Shani. <laughs> he possessed Sorry her body. Sorry about that, Shani. That wasn't me. So who was it? Uh... Me. Shut up. I didn't say anything. Oh, she... Sorry, wasn't talking She to can't you. see him, seriously? Who too, then? Well, to him. To Vladimir. Geralt, there's no one else here. Um, seems your lovely maiden friend can neither see nor hear me. Hmm, there's potential in that. <laughs> Leave her up. That sets some ground rules, indeed. Oh shit! Rules. And I needn't do a thing save have the time of my life. It's funny she's exactly not reacting right now. To do. You're testing my patience. As you are mine. Can you please explain what's going on here? Oh, fiery! Temperament matches the drapes. Listen, I'm supposed to show Vladimir von Everek the time of his life. Turned out, he's a ghost. So, willing or not, I gotta lend him my body. Wait a minute. Are you saying you're possessed? Yeah. Not at the moment. Just now he's standing next to me, coyly grinning at you. But off and on, he'll enter my body. So anything I say or do will actually be him, his mind, his intent. Uh, but what if I want to talk to you, not him? Oh, this is gonna be very complicated. Well, she should approach me and ask me to jump out for a bit. Just come up and ask him to leave for a while. I see. That's gonna be very complicated. Splendid. No, 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 oh fuck. Right then, sugar mama. Let's say we leave this dank crypt. There's a charming grove nearby where kisses taste sweeter than anywhere else in the world. I take it you're Vladimir now. Doesn't seem like I'll have trouble telling you apart from Geralt. Yeah, indeed. Geralt's a bore. Don't change this. Uh, I can't even change you. 
choose what Vladimir is gonna say. Oh, don't change the subject, darling. Don't change the subject, oh, my sweet. God. If a grove's not to your liking, we can cut straight to the chase and make for the nearest haystack. <laughs> I'm very sorry I'm for that. I have to turn you down, dear ghost. A shame. In that case, point me to the nearest brothel. I've got a better idea. You see, I've a friend who's getting married. She invited me to the wedding, but I need an escort. I had hoped that when Geralt saw me weaving the garland for the wedding, he'd invite me, but... Uh, well, I hoped wrong. <laughs> all is not lost, Pudding. I shall escort you. No better dancer in all Redania than Vladimir von Everick. Wonderful. I must stop by my home first and change. So, we'll meet at the temple. Okay, sounds great. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. <sighs> Why not? I'm not fond of temples, see? When alive, I'd only set foot in one to loot it. And in death, I find I despise them all the more. Could we not meet after the ceremony, go straight to the feast? Uh, all right. Seems we've no other option. Splendid. <laughs> then I shall see you at the wedding manor. Okay, this is... this is bad. So I should have said something else, apparently. I must say, Witcher. A man could lose his head for a lass like that. And that comes from none other than Vladimir von Everick, famed for his taste in women. Well, so I can't me, argue with that taste. Now, man to ghost, are you her paramour? Um, why would I tell you for that? If so, you have my word, I shall keep my distance. But if not, then... <laughs> the haylofts we shall devastate together. Um, only ever been friends or cared for Shani deeply once. Yeah, we're gonna go with the first option there. Let's say we were more than friends once upon a time. <laughs> you tried to hide it, but I smelled a tryst. I know a thing or two about men, you see. A shame, though. I'd have satisfied her well, but no cavalier would rut in another's garden. That sounds so, awfully Witcher, friendly. Time for the wedding? Let's go. Of you. Onward. I'll be right behind you. Grave robber. Tried to crawl in through the well. Broke his Where neck. the fuck are you talking about? Meaning, the scabby runt wished to rob our family crypt. Huh. Okay. A comely maid. You're quite the fool if you've not plowed her yet. Keep your paws off her. I'm to enjoy myself. Can I help it that I best like tumbles in the hay with fleshy lasses? You probably can't. Bye, Vladimir. Uh, I'm gonna take the opportunity to take a little break and in the next episode we'll then head towards the wedding. So uh, thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And uh, well, if you want to see what happens next when uh, we go to a wedding party with a lovely lady while possessed by a ghost, you'll have to watch the next episode. So thank you guys enormously for watching, and I hope to see you in the next episode of stream. Goodbye!